Okay, Lance, so here we are at the Saturn Awards. Um, what can you tell us about season three of Fringe, if anything? Well, you know, Spoiler I, alert. What's the cool thing? Uh, I, I don't know how much I'm allowed to say about season three of Fringe, but also I don't know that much. Uh, one thing I can say is that uh, we're going to be spending a lot of time going back and forth between the two universes in season three. And also, um, how are you? it's going to be the development of kind of what happens to uh, the original, uh, what we call the original Olivia in the alternate universe, and how her relationship develops with Royals, I think is going to be very interesting. Now, are you having fun playing two Royals now? Is that, is that hard for you? Um, I'm actually having a great time playing two Royals, because uh, it's really, it's like playing a different character. And, you know, it's one of those things where when you play one character for a long time, it can get stale, and it, it can be a real challenge to keep fresh. So I'm loving it. Now, um, you had a chance to work with Leonard Nimoy uh, in the <laughs> Well, or did you have a chance? For you well, I can't really say. I mean, I got a chance to meet Leonard, but I was really only one scene with him, and it was at the back of the theater yelling at him before he exploded. <laughs> Or ostensibly explored. We don't necessarily know exactly what happened to him. So maybe Bell is alive? It's, I, in the world of J.J. Abrams, my, my motto is never say never. Now speaking of J.J. Abrams, you've been on two of the shows so far. Yeah. And I know you're a Star Trek fan. Yes. So have you ever dropped a hint to say, hey, J.J., uh, I hear you're making a movie? Are you trying to get Absolutely, yeah, I've said that. <laughs> So when you watched the first, his 2009 movie, were there parts in it you were going, I could have done that? Well, you know, it's interesting, it's interesting, the first time I met J.J. Uh, was uh, right before we flew up to shoot the pilot for Fringe, and he was on the set of Star Trek. And, you know, one of the first things I said to him was, you know, I was such a Trekkie, I, you know, can I, can I sit in Captain Kirk's chair? And he said, you know, I wish, because I guess he's a fan of uh, The Wire. So, um, he said, you know, I wish I'd known, because this is part that you would have been great for. So I said, well, the next movie, man. He Which said, part? Oh, I don't want to say that. Now, now, what is your favorite Star Trek show? Series? My favorite Star Trek series is Star Trek Voyage. Now, why is that? Um, well, I, well, there's a few reasons. Uh, first of all, um, just visually, um, you know, by the time that show was filmed, um, kind of the, the graphics really had caught, had caught up to what, what they wanted to do, so everything was so real. And also, um, I just really appreciate, I feel like they finally were able to really realize Roddenberry's vision, um, culturally, socially, with the, with the, you know, the cast, I mean, I don't think, there's hardly two people of the same race in the, in the of the leaves. Who's your favorite character on the show? Wow. It's hard for me to say my favorite character. I mean, you know, I'll admit that I had a crush on uh, Captain Jane Wynn. She's definitely up there. Um, I'd say, I think my favorite... I'd say, I think it's two. I think it's Captain Janeway and Tuvok. Yeah. Yeah. And favorite episode? Oh, wow. Favorite episode of the Voyage. I mean, there's so many great ones. I would probably, off the top of my head, I would say my favorite episode is a two-part of The Year of Hell. Good choice. Yeah. Good choice. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you. Fringe. So, um, oh, you're, you're shooting in a couple weeks for the next yeah. season of Fringe. In about two, I think. What do you know? Um, nothing. nothing. I know nothing. Absolutely nothing. Except I got asked a question about my mother. But that must be the ultimate Olivia's mother, because I'm sure that mine is. I right, nothing. they're casting your mother, or the ultimate. Yeah. Apparently, that's how they know. See, it's so big gossip. So, you've got the, a chance to be two different Olivia's. What's yeah. that like for you to get back? in the same episode be two people. It was fun. Um, Akiva directed and wrote that episode too and so we spent heaps of time kind of trying to work out what you do when it's kind of the same person. All the genetics are exactly the same. It's really just they've just had different lives. So how do you kind of, what, I don't know, it was quite interesting to think about personality and not obsess about, you know, making them different but, uh, but rather just playing actions that you would I don't know, normally play. But I hope I get to do more of it. She was really a blast to kind of get out of this suit and everything too. Was great. But I still love Olivia. Now, you had a chance more than anyone to work with Leonard Nimoy. I did. Um, and possibly you're the last actress to ever work with Leonard Nimoy. Oh, I couldn't believe that because he was so, like, so quiet and just so gentle about it. And when, when he rapped, 
for the show, you know, he just said thank you to everyone and smiled and, you know, we said goodbye and walked away and then it wasn't until after that he, that he said that was all. <laughs> oh, so you didn't know that was... No! Or we would have, I don't know what we would have done. He got a pretty huge round of applause anyway. <laughs> well, what would you like to see for your art, if anything, if you had some input with uh, the guys? Um, oh God, so many things. I don't know. I love, uh, I don't know. I think it'll be interesting to watch Olivia sitting on the other side for a little bit too. And, and I'm interested to see how much that, um, I mean, I don't know how much time, I don't know when we'll pick up again. I don't know how much time she's been in the cell. I don't know if, there's, if they've treated her with anything, but I like the idea of a kind of like that little tiny gentle hint of, you know, like what what time did she lose, you know, and like stuck in a world that she doesn't quite understand. And there is that kind of, you know, a beautiful Walter in this world. And I don't know, there's so many places. So they don't tell you when something's a mystery? What it is? You're as much in the dark as the rest of us? I don't know. No, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So, are you, are you presenting here tonight? Am I what? Are you presenting or just... No, 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 no. I've, I've been nominated. I have a nomination. Um, and, uh... For Star Trek. Right. For Star Trek. No, not for Star Trek. For, for Fringe. Fringe. Oh, for Fringe. Fringe. That, yeah. I just spoke to Anna um, yeah. about your last scene, yeah. and she said she was all choked up to find out she's the last actress who's ever going to work for you. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Now, when Bill Shatner is saying it's all a joke, that you're really not retired. Oh. <laughs>